The anti-material rifle in Helldivers 2 is one of my absolute favorite weapons in this entire game, and it's way better than I think people give it credit for. So let's talk about the anti-material rifle, go over its stats, what its strengths and weaknesses are, and determine how good is the anti-material rifle. The anti-material rifle does quite high damage per shot, this is able to one-shot body shot quite a lot of the smaller enemies. Uh, any of the bots and any of the small bugs, you're going to be able to one-shot body shot them. The anti-material rifle also technically has splash damage on it by a little bit since it counts as explosive damage on hit. So this can help hit multiple enemies, sort of. It can also pierce through multiple enemies too, so if you get enough bugs lined up, you can just fire right through them with the anti-material rifle, which is pretty awesome. I do like that about it. The damage is actually so high that this can actually be really good against certain bug types and certain bot types. Against any of the medium bots, you can basically one-shot them with the anti-material rifle, whether it's the rocket bots or the ones with the shield and the machine gun on them. If you hit them in the head with one shot from the anti-material rifle, you can kill them outright. With the warrior and the defender bugs, one shot to the head will kill them. With the defenders, you do have to wait a second. They'll, they'll die from bleed out, but it still only takes one shot. Brute commanders, you can take their head off with two shots. They can still run after you and try to hit you, so they're still kind of dangerous, but if you take them out at a distance, you'll rip their head off with two shots and then they'll bleed out. And against the new flying shriekers, you can also take them out with one shot, which is pretty cool. The only bugs that you're not going to be able to take out very quick with the anti-material rifle are going to be the titans and the chargers. Chargers, you can kill so long as you can hit them in the back spot, or if their armor gets cracked, then you can kill them quite fast. But if you hit them in the back, it takes about a full magazine to kill them, which isn't too bad. Titans, you probably shouldn't be fighting with the anti-material rifle. You can break them apart and they will bleed to death after a while like you can with other weapons. But that's going to take you a very long time and it's better to have just anti-titan weapons and just not use the anti-material rifle against them. For bots, you can kill almost all of them very quickly. Like I said, any of the medium ones you can kill with one shot as long as you hit them in the head. Small bots, you can hit them anywhere in the body and you'll kill them. The walkers, if you hit them directly in the like more pelvis area I guess of the robot that's kind of a weird thing to say but between the legs you can actually knock them right out of the walker this won't kill them but it will knock them out of there holtz you can actually kill with just two shots if you hit him in the eye which is incredibly strong there's a very simple trick that I learned from the newest war bond as well with the new stun grenades toss that directly at a hulk it will get stunned and then you can shoot it in the eye twice and kill it like instantly it's one of the best ways to remove hulks especially if it's just a single hulk the anti-material rifle is probably the best weapon for taking those out you can also take out tanks with this as long as you hit them in the weak spot and towers so long as you hit them in the weak spot this will take about a full magazine to kill them, but still it's not such a big trade-off, especially since you get six magazines for this rifle. It is very good on the damage. This one does hold six rounds inside the gun, plus one, so seven rounds in total per magazine. There's also a weird bug that goes on with the anti-material rifle, and that is sometimes you will actually load two magazines in the anti-material rifle instead of one. So you'll have twice the amount of firepower before you need to reload. I do not know what causes this. But it is kind of a cool bug that can happen to the anti-material rifle. The recoil from the anti-material rifle is fairly high, but so is the rate of fire. So if you can manage the recoil, you can actually do very fast follow-up shots with this. For different fire modes, there isn't really a different fire mode for the anti-material rifle, but if you hold in your reload, you can change the distance of your scope. So you can set it to 50 meters, which is the default, 100 meters, or 200 meters. This is pretty cool because sometimes you will want to be taking really long-range shots on enemies just because if you're at like a defend the area objective you might as well be taking shots at far away things and you might want to crank it up that high or if you're trying to catch up teammates and they're quite a bit ahead of you providing sniper fire from a distance can help them quite a bit with this aside from that i usually just keep this at the 50 meters because most of the time you're going to be fighting fairly close in this game this is available at level two and this costs you 5,000 credits not too big of an investment if you would like to get it this holds six magazines in total so you have quite a lot of bullets overall with the anti-material rifle you have about 50 of them before you need to resupply and just picking up regular ammos that you can find laying around the map will give you a full magazine if you take a resupply this will give you three magazines both are really good you usually don't run out of ammo too quickly with the anti-material rifle at least if you're using it just for the role of being like a, a sniper rifle or an anti-material rifle this one has a cooldown of 480 seconds. That's the same as like all the weapon stratagems besides the EATs, which uh, are fantastic and they're really good paired with the anti-material rifle. That's an eight minute cooldown in total. So you're not gonna be able to call these in super frequently. Good news is you probably won't need that because you're gonna be able to find ammo for it pretty often. Unless of course you die and you lose your anti-material rifle, but you can always go and find that and pick it back up. Assuming I guess a teammate didn't swipe it from you. And the call in time for this is three seconds in total. Like most of the weapons, it's pretty normal. So it's going to get to you pretty quick and you can use that drop in pod as an actual weapon too if you want to drop it on a charger. 
that can kill them outright too, which is pretty awesome. For the general pros of the anti-material rifle, this one does do really high damage and really high damage per second. It actually shoots very fast. And so long as you're targeting weak spots, you can kill enemies really, really fast. This also one shots any of the spitting bugs. So like the bile spewers and the regular spewers, I think they're just called regular spewers. You can headshot them with just one bullet and you'll kill them outright. It makes it so those missions are insanely easy with the anti-material rifle, or at least insanely easy compared to what they usually are since those bugs are usually incredibly tanky. And this one does actually punch through just their regular armor too. Even the uh, bile spewers you can hit in the back and you'll do fairly high damage to them. So even if you're not hitting the weak spot, you can kill them quite quick. And like I said, one headshot will kill them outright, which is really, really good. The fast rate of fire on this is actually pretty good too. If you need to swap targets, you can. If you end up getting the weird bugs that I've been getting recently, where it's taken away my primary or secondary weapon, or sometimes both, the anti-material rifle is probably the best of the stratagems to be using as a general purpose weapon, besides maybe like the auto cannon. But yeah, the anti-material rifle is really good at that. This also is a run and gun style weapon since you don't need to sit and reload this like the machine gun or the auto cannon or the recoilless rifle. There is no downtime with the anti-material rifle. You can keep running and reloading this and it has about the same reload as a lot of the primary weapons do. So it's fairly fast. And the final pro is that this one can be incredibly strong in certain bug types or certain bot types. If you want to be taking out hulks, this one's really good. If you want to be taking out spewers, this one's really good. For the major cons though, this one is not good against the really heavy enemies. Tanks, it can take out, but you have to get behind them and you have to be hitting on the weak spot in which case this isn't really the strongest, but it is something that you can do. It's not incredibly strong against chargers, unless you want to stun them and just walk behind them and dump the magazine into them, that's also an option. And it's not very good against titans. Titans can soak up the anti-material rifle and you can't really do a whole lot for them, so you want to be taking something that's an anti-titan weapon then. The other major con to this is that you do have to be accurate. This is probably one of the more demanding weapons in terms of you getting good shot placement if you don't have that then the anti-material rifle can feel quite a bit weaker. And I, I swear, in the last update, they shadow buffed this thing because I don't remember it being quite this strong. I always thought it was pretty good, but I don't remember it being this strong. Maybe it was in the update and I just didn't see the notes, but I, I swear they did something to it to make it feel better. Also, a little tip on the shot placement of the scope. It's not entirely center. I don't know why that is because the bullets actually go high into the left slightly from the circle. So if you're aiming, don't aim directly with the circle, aim with a little quadrant that's between the left hand side and the top. If you're aiming about in between there, that's where most of the time the anti-material rifle hits. If you're hip firing this, it's actually quite accurate too, which is funny. So if you want to do that, you can. There isn't any crosshair if you're hip firing this, but you can turn those on in the menu. So if you would like to do that, you absolutely can. I don't have them turned on on mine, but I've just become pretty used to not having them there. And I can still hit pretty accurate shots at close range when I'm going to be using this. As for loadouts that I enjoy taking with the anti-material rifle, uh, in terms of like primary, secondary. Most primary weapons actually work really well with this. The Punisher shotgun I find is incredibly strong with this, especially on bug missions. It's really good for crowds. It can be decent against bots, but a lot of the time I'll switch that out for like the slugger for bot missions, just because I find that one works a little bit better or the plasma shotgun. The new plasma shotgun is actually quite good against bots, even though it's kind of just okay against bugs. Breaker is also really strong if you want a really good all around shotgun that can work really well at basically everything. The new laser sickle is really good too. That's basically like the best in slot assault rifle in my opinion at the moment. And it's very good on both bot and bug missions. And then you could also take something like the other assault rifles. The liberators work really well with this one too. It, they all work fairly well. The only thing that I wouldn't really recommend for a primary weapon with this would be like the DMR rifles. And even then it's not necessarily bad, especially if you're taking them on like a bot mission. But on like bug missions, you don't really need both the rifles and I would rather take something like the Punisher or the Breaker or the Breaker Spray and Bray over that. As for a secondary weapon, kind of anything goes. I usually take the submachine gun because I've just found it to be sort of the best secondary overall since I'm generally going to be using the secondary at very close range and I kind of just want to mag dump it into whatever's trying to kill me at the moment and the submachine gun fits that role really well. If you like the revolver, you could take that or if you like the pistol or the new laser pistol, those work just fine as well too. This is also quite flexible I found. I found the anti-material rifle goes well with just about anything. Generally I want to be taking stratagems that are good titan killers 
but outside of that, anything else goes. So a lot of the time I'll take the anti-material rifle as the first stratagem, since you kind of need it for this build. The expendable anti-tank rounds as my second option because they are just so good. They come up so fast and you can just knock out Titans. You can knock out Chargers really quick. You can knock out tanks really fast. And those are about the only things that the anti-material rifle can't kill really fast most of the time. Sometimes they can if you get close with a stun grenade, then they can besides, I guess, the Titans. I wouldn't really recommend any of the other weapon stratagems with this. Otherwise, I find it just to be too clunky to be swapping between the two. So usually I'll go with something like the orbital laser if I'm going on bug missions because that's a pretty good anti-Titan weapon or it's a good anti-charger weapon. The 110 millimeter rockets are really good for anti-Titans and they come up pretty often. So I like using those and having three of them is pretty awesome, at least if you have the upgrade to the ship and then you can also have the orbital rail cannon that's also pretty good for weakening them and it just all these pair really well with the expendable anti-tank rounds because even if they don't kill the titan it usually doesn't matter since i have an expendable anti-tank round or two that i can fire at it and kill it fairly fast or i can one shot the chargers with any of these two and since the expendable anti-tank rounds come up every 60 seconds it doesn't really matter i can use these because titans usually aren't coming in in massive droves if they are, then hopefully the rest of the team also has anti-Titan weapons to some extent too that they can help out with these. But a lot of the time I'll just go with some sort of setup like that. You could also go with any of the backpacks. The backpacks work really well with the anti-material rifle since you don't need to have a backpack with the anti-material rifle. It's not like the auto cannon or the recoilless rifle. So if you want to play support and go with the ammo backpack, that one's pretty good. You can go with the shield backpack and just keep yourself a little bit safer, make it so you take a little bit less damage. It can be useful if chargers are really giving you issues. The jump pack can be useful too if you want to get up to higher spots to snipe from or if you just want to have it for more mobility so you can run away from areas. And any turret is perfectly fine with this setup too if you like playing in a defensive style with the turrets or if you even like using the turrets in an offensive style then. You can provide some fire against the enemies with your anti-material rifle and then have your turrets kind of protect you as well. All of them work quite well with the anti-material rifle, and I would just say have fun with them. Just be sure that you bring something for anti-Titans, assuming you're playing on the high difficulties where Titans start showing up. Oh, and uh, for grenades, really anything works, but I really like the stun grenade with the anti-material rifle. Toss that out, stun big things like charge, you can walk around the back, dump the whole magazine into them, kill them. Well, you'll have to wait for them to bleed out, but they will die. Or you can use this on Hulks, hit a Hulk with it, two shot him in the eye, the Hulk is dead. You can also do this with like stunning Titans so the teammates can knock it out easier. Or if you get to your expendable anti-tank rounds, you can knock them out easier. It just really, really works. Cells are really great for just pushing objectives quickly. If you want to run in there, do the objective quickly and run out. You can also use the anti-material rifle to break into metal areas too. I forgot about that. Any of those areas where it's usually blow it open and get your rewards, the anti-material rifle can punch through them. Anti-material rifle cannot break bug tunnels though, so you will need to have a grenade for that, or you will need to have a different explosive for it. The build that I've been running for this isn't way great on those type of missions, so usually I'll want to take something else for that, or I'll want to switch out my grenade for the high explosive or the frag grenade so that I can take them out a little bit quicker. So for an overall rating for the anti-material rifle on my tier list, I'm going to be very biased, and I think I'm going to put this way higher than most people. I'm going to put the anti-material rifle all the way up into A tier against bugs because it is really good against every type of bug besides chargers, which you can stun walk around and kill fairly fast anyway, but I usually don't do that. I'll take the expendable anti-tank rounds as well with this, use them for that, and titans. It's not real good against titans. You want to have something else for titans. But if you do have that, then the anti-material rifle can be really good, and just the fact that you can take out spewers so easily with this makes it amazing on those missions. Even if you don't really like taking the anti-material rifle, it can be really good to take just if you start seeing those bugs on other missions. So it might not be a best first pick, but it's a really good follow-up pick for the other missions. It's also just really good against any of the regular and medium-sized bugs that they can just rip apart super quick. For bots, I'm actually going to put this one all the way up into S tier. I think it's one of the best bot weapons in the entire game because you can one-shot almost any sort of bot in the game, at least any small and medium bot, and you can two-shot the larger bots like the walkers and the hulks. The only thing that you can't kill quickly is tanks, and if they're not looking at you, or I believe stun grenades work on tanks too, and you can get around them, you can just break them really fast too. So if you're worried about tanks, bring some anti-tank weapons and you should be good to go. And the anti-material rifle is a very good weapon, even though it is a fairly difficult weapon to get the most value out of. So I think the anti-material rifle is actually great. Tell me your thoughts on that. I don't know what other people's experience has been with the anti-material rifle. When Helldivers first came out, most people were saying it was just a worse version of the railgun. Although at that point in time, the railgun was argued as being the best weapon in the game. So... That's not such a bad comparison in my opinion, and since the railgun got 
quote unquote nerfed, even though it's just as strong as it used to be. Maybe people have been switching over to the anti-material rifle a bit more or giving it a second look. Tell me your thoughts, tell me your experience, and uh, thank you guys so very much for watching this. And enjoy dispensing liberty out there, everyone. Bye-bye.